TL Travelers and welcome back to the TL Travel YouTube channel. If you are new here, welcome. If you are not new here, then welcome back. I have some exciting news for you guys before we jump into the video today, which is that it was just recently announced that TL Travel was actually named Best of Travel in Edmonton for the year 2017. So I just wanted to take some time to say thank you to everybody who is part of my channel and who has shown me so much support in my journey so far. There is so much more to come. If you are interested in joining TL Travel for a group trip to either Thailand or Bali uh, in 2018, then please head over to www.tltraveltrips.com and feel free to use the discount code BESTOFYEG for $200 off of your $600 trip deposit. So today we are talking about road trip essentials. For those of you who may not know, we are about to embark on a road trip from Edmonton to Calgary, to Banff, to Vancouver, to Jasper, and then back to Edmonton. And it is going to be so so much fun, it's gonna be a lot of driving, but it's gonna be so much fun. I am right in the middle of the packing process right now, so I just wanted to share with you guys some of my road trip essentials, tips and tricks uh, for you guys, you know, when you're packing for your road trip. So let's start with where we all know we wanna start, and that is snacks, 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 and more snacks are so important if you are going on a long road trip. I have to tell you, hangar is real, my friend. And having snacks on hand, especially healthy snacks, let's go, you know, let's stick to the healthy side of things, uh, is one really great way to not only avoid having to stop constantly to like pick up snacks or pick up food or whatever, but it's another great way to monitor what you're eating, make sure you're not eating too much or too little on the road, just pack in advance. So for my road trip, I don't have a cooler, to be honest, because uh, yeah, that just was not something that we purchased when we bought our new home and merged our lives together, my husband and I. But what I do have is a food box from my meal delivery service that I use on occasion. And it has an insulated, like inside little section for me to pack all my snacks and everything into. So anything that needs to be kept cold, what is, what, how does what, there we go. So anything that needs to be kept cold can go in here with an ice pack. And I have these natural ice substitute, non-toxic and biogradable, recyclable, disposable, freezer packs. So basically I freeze these up in advance, put them into my box with all of my like fruits and vegetables, anything that needs to be kept cool, drinks especially. I like nice and cold when I go to get them after a few hours in the car. And then when we get to each different stop, I'll take the ice pack in, put it in the mini fridge, freeze it up, and then put it back in the box for the next day. The second road trip essential that I have for you guys is pillows and blankets. So obviously if you are driving, you are not going to be napping. but I will be going with my friend Devin and we will be trading off on the driving responsibilities. So having some blankets and pillows in the car for one or the other to be napping, especially if you have longer driving days planned, like we have a couple of driving days that are about nine hours. So I have the feeling that if we do anything to enjoy our evening the night before, we're going to want to partake in some nappage uh, on the road. My third road trip essential is for those of you who are visually impaired the way that I am visually impaired. I typically need glasses to see and I have a really hard time with contacts. I'm not a fan. And I am also not a fan of those little like clip on sunglass things that clip on over your regular glasses. So having a pair of prescription sunglasses for driving is like one of just, you just, you just need it. And I put off getting prescription sunglasses for the longest time just because prescription glasses are so expensive. By the time that I had purchased my glasses for travel and my glasses for working at home and my glasses for driving, I was just like, no, I'm not spending any more money on glasses. But just recently glassesshop.com sent me a coupon code so that I could pick up some prescription sunglasses for myself and share them with you guys. So I am going to do that right now real quick. So they come in this fun little case with the little cleaning thing as well. And then here are the glasses. So you guys know me, I love my big giant frames. So there they are on my face. Tell me you don't just love them. But if you're not a fan of the big frames, they have a huge selection for men, women, prescription, non-prescription sunglasses, bifocal, multi, 
focal, single lens, all of those fun glasses terms. They've got it all. So I picked up the Amanda Cat Eye. I will leave the link to those ones in the down bar below, as well as a discount code for you guys. You can use the discount code TLTRAVELGS. So head on over to glassesshop.com, check out their BOGO deals, all that fun stuff, and get yourself a pair of prescription sunglasses for your next road trip so that you can be not only protected from the sun, but you know, able to see while you drive. Huh? Next super important thing to have on hand for your travels is a charging station of some sort. So Derek and I, we have the DJI Mavic Pro with the whole kit that comes with it. And that kit came with a charging station, which Oh my gosh, it has saved my life so many times. When you are on a long road trip and you are going to be driving sometimes for 9-10 hours straight, especially if you are using your cell phone for music or you are using your cell phone for, more importantly, maps, that kind of thing, you want to make sure that if you start running low on battery, you have somewhere that you can charge it and not have to be sort of moving cables all around like to sort out charging one thing. Like What I'm trying to say is being able to only charge one thing at a time can create issues on a road trip. So just charging station, that's the way to go. My fourth road trip essential is one that you're gonna be like, girl, how old are you? But I am telling you right now, you, you gotta do it. You just, you gotta do it. And that is to have a paper printed out map of where you are going. I know what you're thinking. You're like, Terry, there's maps and there's apps and there's GPS and navigation, all those great systems that get you to where you're going and you don't have to bother with a paper map. But I will tell you right now, navigation and GPS and Google Maps and all those fun things are not always correct, A. And B, if anything happens where your phone isn't working, you can't get signal, your GPS isn't working, anything like that, you're gonna want to have a map on hand so that you don't get lost and find yourself off in the middle of nowhere, especially if you are on a tighter time crunch and you don't really have time to be veering off and heading an hour and a half in the wrong direction, getting lost, all of those super fun things, you'll have a map on hand that you can just whip out and double check your directions and then you'll know if you're going in the right direction or not. And last but not least, we are talking first aid kit. Now I know what you're thinking, this is very small. Yes, this is my little travel first aid kit for when I'm like flying and it has aspirin in it and some band-aids and tampons and all those things that you might need or not need but i'm just kind of using this as like my visual for a first aid kit the one that i will be using for our road trip is much larger in that kit i'm gonna have everything from bear spray for hiking in the mountains to bandages and ointments and all of those fun things that might come in handy in any sort of situation and then of course a car jack and spare tire for any other emergency type situation. So if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and let me know if there is a travel essential that you pack that you think that I missed in the comments below. If you have not already hit that subscribe button, definitely do because we post new travel content every Thursday and Sunday. And until next time, don't forget to stay great and travel safe and I will see you in my next video.